Hi guys, welcome to Couple Pitch. This time we're going to talk about implement a business plan. How do you implement a business plan? Performance criteria for this element. Communicate the business objectives and content of plans in timely manner to facilitate and clear understanding of the plan and associated activities and individual responsibilities. Encourage staff to provide ongoing input into the business plan. Implement and organize actions detailed in a plan in cost-efficient manner and in accordance with the schedule and contingencies. Use appropriate leadership techniques to encourage team commitment to the business plan. First, communicate business plan. Present final business plan to relevant stakeholders accurately. Once business plans including objectives have been finalized, it is now time to present a final version to relevant stakeholders. Stakeholder considerations. Get a clear understanding of the business plan. Ensure that all key concerns have been considered. Understand the benefits of business plan. Understand how the business plan will benefit them. Understand how business plan will impact on them. Understand their role in implementing the business plan. Any potential problems identified. Have their concerns addressed. Be excited and reassured about the business plan. Types of stakeholders, clients, business partners, colleagues, staff, event organizers, sponsors from other companies, superiors, suppliers, vendors, team leaders, team members, venue operator, leaser. Communicate business plan information, key vision of the plan, background information, how the plan will be implemented, timeline, reasoning or purpose behind the business plan, business objectives, role and responsibilities of key stakeholders, and support mechanism. How can you communicate information to staff, clients? Managers and suppliers. Second, use leadership techniques, leadership styles. The role of the leadership is vital in ensuring that new business plans and implementation actions associated with them. Understood by staff. Staff are motivated and committed to its success. Autocratic and Democratic Leaders An autocratic leader is one who centralizes authority and relies only in legitimate reward and coercive power. A democratic leader delegates authority to others, encourages participation, and relies on expert and referent power to influence others. Charismatic Leadership Theory the key characteristics of charismatic leader are self-confidence, vision, ability to articulate that vision, strong convictions about the vision, behavior that is out of the ordinary, appearance as strange agent, environment sensitivity. Transactional versus transformational leadership. Transactional leaders are leaders who guide or motivate their followers in the direction of already set goals by making them clear and explaining task requirements. Transformational leaders are leaders who inspire people behind their own goal through individual consideration and charisma. They are capable of having a profound and extraordinary effect on their followers. Additional leadership techniques have clear goals, develop mutual trust, encourage good communication, 
provide internal and external support. Encourage staff to input into plans. Encourage staff to provide ongoing input into the business plan. How can a manager do this? Methods to encourage staff input. Asking for ideas. Having an open door policy regarding suggestions. Sharing ideas. Being prepared to test new ideas. Seeking information and ideas from non-traditional places. Thanking people for their contributions. Taking the time and effort to explain to someone who contributed an idea why their idea was not implemented. Ensuring the persons responsible for suggesting an effective new approach receive their credit for doing so. Fourth, implement action. Implement business plan actions. Now that business plans have been communicated with stakeholders responsible for its delivery, it is now time to implement any actions. Implementation considerations, compliance requirements, occupational safety and health, OHS, legal liability exposure, integration with other aspects of the business, timing issues. Implementation considerations resources. Changes to policies and procedures, documentation and record keeping, service delivery, impact on organizational culture. Implementation planning inclusions, details of the intended actions to be taken, determination of accountability for action taken, details of the budget and resources allocated, details and timelines for reviewing progress. Allocation of responsibilities for action to be nominated persons. Timelines for completion of nominated actions. Description of monitoring progress. Defining and assigning roles. It is important that everyone know what is expected to them. But the staff need to know how can they understand their roles and responsibilities. Identify predictable consequences of change, disruption to routine, problems with timelines, issues with reporting structure, extra support required by employees. Provide support and resources to support implementation actions. The aim is to enable staff to be able to learn and implement new changes in the workplace. During this period, you must manage the twin functions of task functions and maintenance functions. Thank you for watching. That's it for this video. If you learned something here, don't forget to like and subscribe to Cup of Teach. See you on the next lesson. Bye!